She wanna know me, I stay low key, all gas, no brakes, baby, let them hoes sleep. Body on ten, make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one in the more one. So what is gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Is you riding on a team? Got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? Hi you guys, welcome back. Okay, so um i don't know how much vlogging i'm gonna do today as you can see a very casual very casual today um right now i am about to go to get some lunch with my daughter we're gonna grab a bite to eat we're thinking sushi maybe and the plan is to come back and do my hair i do do my own hair so the plan is to do something with this head because i'm tired of this hair the short little blonde I'm tired of it so yeah we're gonna go get some sushi and is that all we doing today yeah there's all a break you know what <laughs> all the people are saying that you're so sweet and you're so cute and blah 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 Hi. Okay. <laughs> so yeah we're gonna go grab something to eat and then we'll see what happens later so talk to y'all later Okay, y'all, I need some gas, but looking at my gas, I'm thinking I might be able to make it, but maybe not. It is November, what's today, 29th or something, uh, 30th, I don't know, but 28th, it is still hot <laughs> it is like 82 degrees today you guys so anywho um yeah I better get some gas <laughs> okay you ready mm -hmm. yeah I better get some gas it says I have 28 miles though but I don't like pushing my gas to the limit. 28 miles, it's already on a quarter tank or something? No, it's like, ain't no green. I got, oh, <laughs> I got oh, 4%. It's than, yeah. But, you know, it's telling me I'm safe for 28 miles. Yeah. But, I always think that too. I'm like, I probably got more, but I shouldn't let it get this close anyway. Yeah. I always think that. Much. I mean, it's so rare when I drive that it's just like, you know, mm -hmm. so. I'm out here trying to vlog. I ain't got no help. My daughter over here, she won't assist me with creating content for y'all, okay? So, I gotta vlog, create content, you know, pump gas. I, I gotta do it all, okay? While she's sitting here, you know, trying to, still trying to find somewhere to eat. So, where are we eating at? Pier 76. Come on, dang. $70 was that quick? Sheesh. Bad little flex. She wanna know me. I stay low key. I'll gas no breaks. Baby, let them hoes sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way. Never out of my lane. Feel like you the one in the more one. So what is gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Is you riding on a team? Got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get lonely. I got something for you when we get home. If you let me put it down, when I hit the town, you should slide on me. Keep your minds on me. On try, baby, I think you should side with me. Stay solid one time if you lie with me. Just promise you never lie to me. Keep the moves on tuck. I know what's all up. Everything good. Keep the vibes on crush. I know what's all good. Know what's all love. Know what's all love. I've been feeling like I'm feeling like a man lately. Can't nobody do it like I can. Daily. You can take a nap. That's why you don't want to go to Marshalls, because you want to take a nap. I mean, Marshalls is always Marshalls, but a nap is what? Classic, <laughs> classic. 
a Sunday nap after eating. I need to put my new holder in here because this holder is not, not the business. The business. And you can't see, can't see Brie. <laughs> really? <laughs> Why are you trying to hide and, and drink your, your regular water? Life of a vlogger. <laughs> Life of a vlogger. I got a new holder that actually goes up on here. Mm -hmm. And you know, you can maneuver the phone more. Yeah. Okay, so no Marshalls. No Marshalls. She won't go to Marshalls with me. Yeah. morning and I'm about to start a little bit of laundry before I get my day started <sighs> I made the impulsive decision to set an appointment to get microblading and you know put down a deposit and all of that stuff and it's finally the day today I guess it's really sinking in that I'm about to go let somebody cut strokes into my brows and add ink and I'm starting to feel a little bit nervous about it <laughs> uh, you know I guess at the time I was so frustrated and ready to do it but now I'm just like girl are you sure you want to do this so anyway I'm just trying to wrap my brain around the fact that I'm about to go let somebody put some semi-permanent eyebrows on my face and just hope and pray that they do it right. Okay, like what? Girl, are you crazy? So anyway, I can't drink any coffee. She told me that last night. Had I known I couldn't drink any coffee or alcohol, I probably wouldn't even done it. So I can't have my coffee. So I guess I'm just going to have me a little juice and a bagel or something this morning. But anyway, I just wanted to stop in and tell y'all that it's microblading day for my brows. Okay, so of course I'm going to check in with you guys after the procedure. I don't know if I'll be able to record any of it inside or not. You know, I don't know this lady. But y'all, y'all going to see. Look at my brows now. Okay, these are my little before naked brows okay and then y'all gonna see what she do to me today okay so let me get my life together because i only got about an hour and a half Welcome back. Okay, so I just wanted to check in this morning. It is actually Wednesday. So the day after I got my brows microbladed and shaded. Um, I didn't make it back to the vlog yesterday after I got them done. I was having a weird day yesterday. I don't know what was going on, but 
Um, yeah, so this is the final product of the microblading. And I have to say, I really, really like them. Really, really like them. I love the way they look just right now. Like when I woke up this morning, looked in the mirror, I didn't scare myself. I didn't feel like I looked weird or anything like that. So I feel like she did a really good job of, you know, making them kind of flow with my natural brows and everything. So just some basic information about my experience yesterday. Um, she was great. Really, really great. I'll actually put her information on the screen. Um, nice little shop. I really liked it. Really cute. Made me feel like I was going somewhere nice to do something, you know, special for myself. Um, she was extremely professional and knowledgeable. Prior to me going to the appointment, when I made the appointment like over a month ago, I sent her some photos of how I look just barefaced, how my brows were. Also some photos of me, you know, with makeup on, how I typically do my brows when I do my makeup, just so she would have a feel of my face, kind of my taste when it comes to how I like my brows to look and stuff. So I think that kind of helped out because she was able to see me ahead of time um without me having to come twice you know so when I first got there we still sat down discussed what type of brows I wanted how I wanted them to look and feel and all that good stuff she showed me some photos of brows that she had done um recently and how they came out she showed me some with just the microblading she showed me some with just the shading and she showed me some with both so what we decided to do for me was both shading and microblading so some of the hair strokes as well as filling in my sparse areas and stuff which i have quite a few on my brows but we decided that's what would work best for me. So I did get both. Um, she charges currently at the time of this video, she charged $350 for either, you know, service, whether you get microblading or shading, it's $350. If you decide to get both, it's $450. So since I got both, it was $450 for me. When you make the initial appointment, there is a $50 deposit. You know, she wanna secure the coins. So to make sure you're not just booking time and you're not serious about it. So, you know, I went ahead and took care of that. But that was the cost for my microblading services. So this is how it looks on day two. You know, she gave me all the information regarding aftercare and all that stuff, which is not different from um, taking care of your tattoos, honestly, so that they'll heal properly making sure it's nice and clean, making sure you keep it moisturized, and then we just see what happens. So supposedly it's supposed to take about two weeks for me to go through the scabbing process and, you know, letting them heal and seeing what's happening. But so far, I, they don't hurt. I don't feel anything. Um, I'm just hoping that they heal nicely so that they look good and I don't have a lot of patchiness and stuff. I do have an appointment scheduled in January for my touch-up, which, you know, you go afterwards. She said usually it's about four to six weeks after it's completely healed so she can go in and touch up any areas that she didn't, you know, get really good. So, anywho, that was my process. I was really nervous and scared, but she made me feel really comfortable. Um, she was very professional and knowledgeable. She did an excellent job. I wouldn't say it didn't hurt. I did feel the strokes and I did hear the strokes, which was a bit cringy, knowing what she was doing, you know, cutting the surface of my skin and putting the dye in there. So knowing what she was doing and hearing it was a bit cringe, but I made it through. So... <laughs> That's that on that. Okay, so I am so happy to just have brows on my face. And it's so funny because I really have been kind of like taking a break from makeup, not really doing, you know, a whole lot and da-da-da-da-da, Chanel the ding. But now that my brows are done, it's like I'm dying to do my makeup and I can't. 
until you know they heal so anyway i'll probably do a little something something just make sure i stay aware from my brows um and you know do a little video or whatnot for you guys give my new brows a test run but yeah i gotta be really careful because i can't get them wet you know when i wash my face and i can't you know be touching them and rubbing them and stuff so anyway that was my experience for microblading i wanted to share it with you guys just in case you're curious you guys in these vlogs will be able to go through the journey with me see how they heal see what happens and all that shit don't the don't so just stay tuned for that. But yeah, if you're in the area, I live in Riverside, California. If you're in the area and you're looking for somebody, so far, I would recommend her. You know, we'll see what happens after they heal. But thus far, excellent experience. So if you're looking for somebody to check out, you might want to check her out. So, so yeah, today is a pretty kind of chillaxing morning for me. I need to wash my brushes because, girl, it's funny. Like, when my jar gets full and this is like really really full for me it's like girl you need to wash your brushes i have like five million brushes i i don't have to wash my brushes like ever if i don't want to but i just i don't like dirty brushes so i gotta wash my brushes today and i got some new pots i want to open those up so yeah i might do that later on after i get back from my last tattoo session um, I do have a session to fill in this little blank space right here. It was a pretty big blank space, but I have a session to fill that in to go along with the rest of my design. And then that's it. Okay, that is it. I'm not getting any more things tattooed onto my body <laughs> for a while, maybe. So yeah, um, I might check in with you guys, let you guys see what's happening with the tattoo, but maybe not because that's like a weird spot. I don't know if I'll be able to film that, but I will probably show you what it looks like. So yeah, it's kind of like a chillax day for me, feeling a little off. I need to kind of get my, um, I want to say, I need to get my energy up. That's what it is. I need to get my energy up. I need to, you know, just kind of heighten my spirits right now so anywho we'll see how it goes i'll check in with you guys later <sighs> safety first okay no reason just late i'm trying to grab me a little cheeseburger though because your girl is hungry and these sessions be hours long and i'm not gonna be laying there with my stomach growling wishing I'd have grabbed me a little something to snack on, okay? So, I'm really excited, though, to get this last piece. I'm really, really ready to just kind of be done, let the healing begin, you know, all of that good stuff. Are oh, they out here with selling the flowers today. Do you guys have people in your local area? that stand on the corners and sell flowers and stuff. I love having that right around the corner from my house because if I ever want to grab some flowers and you know I'm not going to the grocery store or anything, which I really don't go to the grocery store anyway now, honey. I order everything, including my groceries. <laughs> I mean, okay, the panorama just got your girl spoiled in every single way you know i was ordering stuff from amazon and sephora and ulta and everywhere else already as it is but <laughs> once i found out i could order my milk and eggs and cheese as well your girl had to start doing it so now it's like go to the store for what no y'all ain't gonna catch me in these grocery store streets so anyway, <laughs> I don't know. I really am a homebody, you guys. I love being at home. I love just doing me. Don't don't get me wrong. I like to get out, go out, do stuff, you know. But I don't really have any local friends. You know, my friends live far away. I have one friend that lives in L.A., you know, the one you guys met. We try to get together, you know whenever we can but my 
bestie besties they all live far away from me so <laughs> your girl ain't just gonna be running these streets by her little lonesome okay but you know it's like me my personality i i like to just get out and go sometimes it's weird i know i'm a homebody i don't like to be bothered don't call me don't don't no leave me alone but i also like to get out and do fun things like if my girls live close trust and believe i'd be like where are we going to eat today where are we going to shop today where are we going to drink tonight you know what's popping you know my kids are grown so but yeah i'm pretty much just chill at the house i feel like it's safer there in these days and times it's safer okay I am very blessed though that my daughter is close by. So if I really do just want somebody to go eat with or go shop with, you know, when she's available, we can do that. And I love it. So I am blessed that she is local now and I do have someone to do things with. But other than that, yeah, I'm just, you know, chilly chillax it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood it is what is it oh it's 92 degrees lord have mercy december 1st good old california 92 degrees <laughs> what the freak okay what the freak man anywho i am yeah I'm really really hungry y'all I cannot roll up in this tattoo shop on an empty stomach and he just gonna have to wait I might be a little five ten minutes late we might have to do a quick little carb cheeseburger mukbang or something honey cuz your girl's hungry I feel for my husband cuz when we go anywhere he drives I don't drive period like his leg would have to be broke in order for me to dry. But, yeah. I don't like eating and driving, but I also don't like playing with people's time. So since I know I'm the one that's late, <laughs> I'm at least start eating while I'm driving, so. These fries good. I'm parked right in front of this place. It says the Sultry Vixen. Pole dance, clothing, and accessories. Exotic wear, rave wear, bikinis, and pleaser heels photography. <laughs> Am I safe over here? McDonald's cheeseburgers or double cheeseburgers are not the most appealing hamburgers visually, but you know, that's what mine look like. I always get no pickles, no onions. I don't want no pickles and no onions on my double cheeseburger. I don't think anybody has better coat than McDonald's. McDonald's Coke is the bomb. It just hit different. I want y'all to see this little place that I'm parked in front of. I wonder if it's a stripper joint at night. Because it looks like it might be like a stripper joint when the sun go down, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what it looked like. Ooh, I got three minutes, y'all. This little burger might get finished today, okay? Let me see if I can flip this around so y'all can see. Y'all see this place over here? It's like... Let me see if I can try and zoom in. Put my little burger down right quick. 
But this place over here, hey, I can't even zoom in with this mug. There we go. I don't know if y'all can see it because <laughs> of the glare, the damn glare. But child, hold on. It's like this little shady looking spot. And then over here in the front, it's like the store called like Sultry Vixen or something. Yeah. I don't know, but you can never be too careful around these parts, okay? But anyway, let me finish this burger so I can only be like 10 minutes late. Okay, you guys, I am so happy. I am done for now with you know the basic sleeve this was it's a little glare because of the shine this was the last little back piece i had the front i had my cross in there i got my butterflies going over here that are still healing so they look crazy and crunchy but i like it i like it i like it i lo actually love it so so happy that i'm done with that for now i'm sure i'll get like something kind of intertwined inside of the butterfly since there's space in there but for now my arm is like girl you better chill out so I probably won't get no more work done until next year after I come back from my cruise um in January maybe even February okay so yeah I'm so excited that only took like two and a half hours because it started at 12 and it's about 2 30 now so I don't want no scrub. Scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. Hanging out the passenger side of his best friend's ride. Trying to holler at me. I so y'all, I'm feeling these brows, okay? I just put on a little powder and some lashes. No shadow, nothing like that, but just a little powder on my face. I don't even have no concealer or nothing. Just um, my Kat Von D powder. And some lashes. And just having these brows on my face just makes me feel more complete, okay? <laughs> so, I'm loving them already. I really am. It's just giving me a whole, a whole different type of vibe right now. And I'm feeling it, okay? I know I've been looking real dusty in these last vlogs. So, I said, you know what? You're going to have to do something with yourself. So, at least if somebody new is watching you. They know that you can clean up a little bit. Okay, so anyway, yeah, just little lashes, little powder, little sha dum da dum. So, but I'm feeling these brows. You know, I am. I like them. So, I don't know if I'll be back for this vlog right now. I'm waiting on Boo. We're gonna go, you know, get out a little bit tonight or something. And yeah, I don't know what else is gonna happen. So, this might be the end of the vlog. Might not. We shall see. Who that is. Really? Why are you looking like you don't know you don't know that I'm a vlogger now? <laughs> well, I'm, looking at, I'm looking at you how cute you looking. Aw, say hi to the people. What it do folks? <laughs> Good morning you guys. Happy Thursday. Um yeah, I'm trying to get a little bit of an earlier start this morning. I've been kind of busy running around, so some of the things around the house that I need to do have gotten a little neglected. So today, I'm just going to make sure, you know, that I take care of the kitchen. I have a big old basket of laundry right here that I need to fold up. So I'm going to fold that while I'm watching some YouTube videos. Um, you know, there's different people that are going to be coming today. The pool cleaning guy. Um, the pooper scooper girl. <laughs> um, and... I don't know what else, but I'm going to go ahead and come on, Bosco. But yeah, um, the pooper scooper comes twice a week and I really need to kind of clean up back here. It's kind of a lot of junk around the, say hi to the peoples, say hi peoples. He's sitting here patiently waiting. To go in the house 
and typically he'll fall out really on the cold the cool floor because it feels good but other than that he goes straight to straight to daddy's area <laughs> looking for daddy he'll be chilling in the house with me today but um yeah so that's what i'm gonna be doing cleaning laundry gotta wash my brushes i told you guys the other day i have a whole jar full of brushes that i need to wash so that's what i'm be doing washing my brushes you want to come say hi to the people in the light so they can see your pretty face hmm? come say hi to the people come on say hi you want to see the pretty face in the light he be camera shy for real, y'all. He know. He knows. Look at him. He like, pet me, mama. Pet me. But he knows when I'm trying to get a picture or video because he will literally just like turn his head. All right, go on. Go ahead, load the dishwasher, do the laundry. You guys, I ordered some of those headband wigs from Amazon. I ordered like four of them I think because I was like you know what I'm gonna go ahead and see if I like them or I can wear them because I'm really not a wig chick like if I have hair in my head it's, it's usually sewn in it's attached <laughs> you know it don't come off so I decided to you know just buy a few of those headband wigs to see if I like them of course but I put these twists in, so obviously I'm not going to be wearing headband wigs right now. But, um, yeah, I'm going to take a look at them. Maybe they'll be good for, like, in-between um, hair. See, he done laid out. But maybe they'll be good for, like, in-between hair days or hairstyles for me where I can just throw it on. I don't know, but I'll let you guys see which ones I got. We'll see how they look. If I don't like them, honey, I'm sending them right back. <laughs> so let me start cleaning and then we'll um, go from there. Aye, aye. Look. I'm too cool for the rules, baby, get off of me. Never need no push, I do it all for me. Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be Too true for the flex, baby, don't cap to me Drop 50, bring 150 right back to me Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be Look, papa don't preach, teachers don't teach Gon' reach, that's facts I ain't worried about none of that I'm making that cash day. Bunch of O's like NASCAR, but it's really more like NASDAQ. Why they thinking that they hot when they really more like Quota on me like a referee. Paying what they'll never be. Small top with a big bottom, yeah. Shot the shape like a letter D. Let her have it, then I let her be. If you love it, gotta let it grow. Crazy cause you really never know. When I'm hurting, never let it show. I'm a two tone, two phone, two chain, new thing, lane with, but you a broke. Low class, no cash, certified lame. I'm getting to it like I ought to. Couldn't pick, so I bought two. Understand why your chick came. I'm just trying to figure why she brought you. I'm really reppin' and I'm flexed up. And I ain't got to tell him I'm next up. Sleep on the they rest up. But I'm up and I'm getting my checks up. Me and the fellas be high propellers. They like could tell us we great. Looking at like how do you figure unless you been talk about a figures. I'm too cool for the rules, baby, get off of me. Never need no push, I do it all for me. Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be Too true for the flex, baby, don't cap to me Drop 50, bring 150 right back to me Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be Look how we litty, we turned up the city, we raising the bar height I been finessing, just look at them stressing, yeah, they been on all night Sipping this water with somebody's daughter, she take what I taught her and build on it Came in this game on that the day, ain't in a couple years later, we still on it Be hating on it, be waiting on it like a new season I bet an acre on it, I put some paper on it like I'm loose leafing Buying them assets, build me a cash 
net, I could fall in. Look at my last bit, ain't got a tiptoe, I'm all in. Think on a the level that can't fail, and I roll me a J with the hate mail. Been doing good on the merch sale, all this bread on me look like a bake sale. Tell her what's really good, I'll be really good on a jaw jack. Send an email about the bread, I'ma hit you back with the call back. I'm too cool for the rules, baby, get off of me. Never need no push, I do it all for me. Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me. Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be. Too true for the flex, baby, don't cap to me. Drop 50, bring 150 right back to me. Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me. Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be. again I'm rushing y'all <laughs> I got a lot done this morning I've been doing so much stuff around the house stuff that I need to get done that I almost forgot yesterday I wasn't able to get my feet done so I made an appointment for 10 o'clock this morning which is when they open so I'm about to run over here to the nail shop so I can get my feet done am I the only person that doesn't really use their rear view camera <laughs> my old school driver I'm used to turning looking checking all that good stuff so anyway yeah I mean I really don't have to rush I have like 15 minutes the place is only like 10 minutes away so yeah my hands are all ashy I just finished washing my brushes but it's all good because I'm trying to get my hands done as well. So matter, okay? <laughs> so matter. So, yeah, I feel like today is going to be a very productive day. Um, what else do I need to do? I have not uploaded on Instagram, and I don't know how long. And it's really because I haven't been, you know, really doing makeup and all that stuff like I normally do. So, you know, because the two go hand in hand for me. I do makeup. I get makeup. I post it on Instagram. But since I haven't really been focused on makeup, I haven't really been posting. So I think 
after I get my nails done, when I go home, I'm going to figure out what I want to post on Instagram because I don't think, I'm not going to put any makeup on today. I don't think, you know, with my brows, I'm trying to chill. But I think I'm going to post just some actual makeup. So I need to come up with a, a nice visually pleasing theme for um, a picture for Instagram. So I think that's what I'm going to do when I get home. Because I got pretty much, most of the stuff I wanted to do, I got complete. The pooper scooper didn't come yet, so hopefully she doesn't come until after I get back. Who the hell is honking? Because, um... Oh, maybe they honking at that truck wanting him to turn right or something. Like, ain't nobody breaking no rules of the road right now. Anyway, so yeah, I've gotten most of my stuff complete, so... I think I can go ahead and do that. Just focus on an Instagram post. But yeah, I'm trying to be good with the makeup so I can go ahead and let my brows heal properly. Um, but anyway, that's what we're doing. So yeah. <sighs> Is there anything else? I bought a new pot set like weeks ago and I have not opened it yet because I don't really cook a lot, you know. Honestly, I don't like cooking a lot. Not because I don't like cooking. I mean, I cooked for my family and my kids and all that stuff for like almost 30 years at this point. <laughs> so, it's like, yeah, I am sick of cooking. But, it's not that I don't like to cook. I just don't like to... Really? Did you really... I was trying to be nice and let you... Child. Trying to be nice and let this car turn into what I'm thinking he going in and out. This fool just busted a U-turn and got in front of me. Seriously? Anyway. Well, it's not that I don't like to cook. I just don't like having all that food in the house and all those leftovers and stuff. You know, it's hard enough as it is. You better go. You don't cut in front of me. You better move. You know, having a bunch of food in the house, but... A lot of it gets thrown away because I'm not a big leftover eater like that. So, I end up throwing a lot of food away. Y'all, these people cannot drive this morning. I'm about to scream. Get out the way then. If you're not going to go, get out the way. Okay. But, yeah, I'm not a big leftover eater. So, I don't like having all that food in the house, you know. Mm -mm. It's just me. Hubby will eat leftovers once or twice, maybe, sometime, but because of our lifestyle right now, we just do more of like grab-and-go type stuff or, you know, go sit down somewhere. So anyway, I don't like doing all that cooking. It's a lot of food gets wasted. So anyway, I'm about to um, pull up at the nail shop, and they probably not even there, quite honestly, because it's like nine. 50 and they don't even open till 10 so I'm good but I'll uh I'll check in with y'all later
pedicure slash massage that I have ever had in my life. Oh my goodness. My appointment was at 10 this morning and it is 12.42, okay? So I got my nails done first. That took about an hour. He was done at about 11. She has been doing my pedicure and giving me a massage on my legs and feet ever since 11. And it's 12.42. Yeah, oh my gosh. I love that place. And they serve alcohol and stuff too. I didn't get no alcohol. I just got some water because I'm like, I got to drive about that mug. But they serve wine and champagne and all that stuff in there. So nice. And... It was so amazing. I made an appointment for my husband <laughs> to go get his feet rubbed and his legs rubbed and massaged. I mean, she exfoliated, she scrubbed, she moisturized, she did the, the hot rocks, the hot rocks on my legs. She put my feet in bags for uh, uh, like warm wax to like you know wax my feet i don't know what that does but she put my feet in these bags had some warm wax in there and it molded to my feet and it oh my good like what <laughs> i ain't never had nothing like that before and i'm just like yo i didn't have some pedicures you know and i'm really not into all of that stuff all the rubbing and scrubbing of my legs and stuff i'm like i just want my feet done but child that was amazing 10 out of 10 would recommend okay it was amazing so it was it had to be bomb for me to make an appointment for my husband to go so he better not have no plans on sunday because i made an appointment for him already to go up in that mug to get it done and Mm. He gonna love me for that, honey. He is gonna love me for that. Cause he always talking about, I need my feet rubbed. I need my feet. I'm tired. And I just be looking like. <laughs> Y'all know that, honey. I, I don't. Mm -mm. I love my boo. I don't rub no feet, honey. So. I mean, I know. Shoot. I know he loves me and I don't require him to rub my feet either. So, you know, it's all good. But anyways, I just had to come and say that, y'all. That mug, that was the best pedicure slash massage I ever had in my life. And I do not regret paying for it, okay? Period. So, anyway, headed back to the house to finish up whatever else I need to do at the house. I'm starving now. It's 1 o'clock and I ain't had nothing but that little cup of coffee. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead figure out something to eat i believe i have some salad at the house hopefully it didn't go bad because it's been there for a minute <laughs> but we gonna check it out so i'll get with y'all later hey hey look i'm too cool for the rules baby get off of me Never need no push, I do it all for me Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be Too true for the flex, baby, don't cap to me Drop 50, bring 150 right back to me Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be Look, papa don't preach, teachers don't teach Gon' reach, that's facts I ain't worried about none of that I'm making that cash day. Bunch of O's like NASCAR, but it's really more like NASDAQ. Why they thinking that they hot when they really more like Quarter on me like a referee. Hey, and what they'll never be. Small top with a big bottom, yeah. Shot of shape like a letter D. Let her have it, then I let her be. If you love it, gotta let it grow. Crazy, cause you really never know. When I'm hurting, never let it show. I'm a two tone, two phone, two chain, new thing, lane. Whipper, you a broke, low class.